there's a fire sign coming into your guys' uh, life. There, there's a Leo energy here. Leo, Aries, or Sag, but I'm getting strong Leo. Leo has been showing up strong. I'm telling you, you're going to have a brand new situation begin with a fire sign. And this past energy, they know. They know. Trust me, they know. They they got to read on y'all. They, they know what comes next in your love life. King of Chalices, Ten of Chalices, Capricorn, somebody is in love with you. Or, or somebody sees you as the one for them. Um, Chinese, right? The Chinese year of the dragon. Okay, specifically the water dragon. Rejection really is God's protection. If somebody is not being allowed to come into your life, into your energy, then consider it a blessing. Please, y'all. Hello, Capricorn. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Stars Inside here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We will read for you guys, okay? This is whatever comes up. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guides, and read for my Capricorns. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Okay, Capricorn. I heard the name Mariana. Mariana? Levi? I also heard the name Levi. Here we have the South Node. South Node is typically associated with uh, our karma, the side of time, or following a karmic timeline, learning some rather valuable lessons. Then we have Capricorn, that's the devil. Hmm. Saturn energy. Here we have number four. You could be life path number four. Um, this is the Emperor in reverse. Something, I, I heard like a thump on the wall when I was talking about this life path number four what do we have at the bottom <clears throat> the king of chalices okay you could have been born um chinese right the chinese year of the dragon okay specifically the water dragon right but regardless you could be you could be someone that was born in the year of the dragon okay regardless of the element a strong energy for the water dragon. King of chalices, ten of chalices, Capricorn, somebody is in love with you. Or, or somebody sees you as the one for them. Or you're about to experience true love. After, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, lovers in the ten of chalices. Literally, there's a lover's card. Queen of Wands. Ten of Chalices. The card stuck on these is very, very stiff. I still love the deck, though, so I'm going to use it. But please excuse my shuffling. Okay, we have the Five of Coins. What's going on? What's going on, spirit? Ooh, five of coins and seven of swords. Somebody here is robbing for money, or somebody here has to rob people for money. <clears throat> or somebody's trying to sneak their way into your energy to get money. What on earth is this? Eight of wands in reverse. Somebody's a, a chaos magician, like a chaos magician or a chaos witch. Two, two of swords, the lovers again. <laughs> What's going on here, spirit? The moon. <clears throat> I'm experiencing a lot of fro chakra blockage. I also feel like I'm getting a cold during your read. I feel like somebody's trying to send spell work to make y'all sick or something. 
Okay, King of Wands. What's going on here with this King of Wands spirit? The Eight of Cups. Nine of Coins is going to land over here. So you're this Nine of Coins. <laughs> I just gasped for air. I apologize for that. You're this Nine of Coins. Somebody here is doing spell work on y'all, okay? They're doing like a chaos magic. They could even be, be doing a black magic, okay? It's a man and a woman for most of you, okay? And this could even be like a couple. Like these two could be together. You're on the outs, okay? This does feel like... um you know, a situation where it was like, you were supposed to be with the Seven of Swords energy this lifetime, or you guys had some sort of soul contract, but this individual chose to get involved with a, a third party or several third parties, okay? It's the storyline that we have been seeing for a long time now in these reads. I, Two of Swords, the Moon, the Lovers, I feel like you both know that you want to be with each other, but this individual never made a decision. So then, this is the present state, and then in the future, this is you walking away from this completely and getting involved with a fire sign. There's a fire sign coming into your guy's uh, life. There, There's a Leo energy here. Leo, Aries, or Sag, but I'm getting strong Leo. Leo has been showing up strong for the new love for a lot of you, Okay. This is going to land right over here. So what's this all about? Temperance and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you see this King of Chalices with the Lovers. They went and got involved with a Queen of Wands. That's the third party. Somebody betrayed a Divine Connection to go be with third party. And you see, this is you. Th this, okay. So it's a new energy coming in. That's a fire energy. But this energy is also picking up on the fact that this this King of Chalices is still wanting to be King of Wands and be attached to this Queen of Wands. So this is you just saying you're you're walking away from it. Yeah, Knight of Chalices. On the side. Like they, they put y'all's love to the side. So what's here? Six of, excuse me, yes, the six of chalices in reverse, and the eight of pen, the the time ran out on this divine connection. You see all those clocks, the time's up on this connection, y'all. I don't I don't think there's any reconciliation this lifetime, or in any lifetime, because if they can't reconcile this lifetime specifically, like this is the age of Aquarius, this was the lifetime where they had to reconcile. Okay, you guys prepared for this for lifetimes. So if they can't do it in the lifetime that they have been preparing for every lifetime, then yeah, I'm going to get a reminder notification. If they can't do it this lifetime, then they can't do it any lifetime. You know, this is the lifetime where they had the least resistance I'm hearing. Like this is the lifetime where they had the least resistance this individual knew what they needed to do. They knew what they needed to do, y'all. They didn't do it. That cycle's closed. That's what I'm getting from this. Uh, uh, the cycle is completely closed out. Page of Wands, yeah, Seven of Wands. That's why you haven't heard from this person, Capricorn. You haven't heard from this person in a while because Spirit has blocked them. This individual has been blocked from uh, coming back to you. Because they're still trying to engage with this uh, third-party karmic. So the time has officially run out on this connection. Nine of chalices at the bottom. Somebody was more... Uh, they wanted to live their own life. That's what I'm getting here. They, did, they didn't want this burden of being a divine counterpart or something. Yeah, the sun. Look, we, we just have to... Like, they just don't want to do this. <laughs> Like, I know I'm, I'm, I'm not laughing because I think it's funny. Sometimes as a trauma response, I will laugh. Some people will understand. But they just don't want to do this, you guys, okay? Like, they they just don't want it, y'all. You know, I, I don't know how else to say it. Like, this is a yes from spirit to what I was saying. Like, 
those of you that are hoping and praying beyond all odds that there is a beautiful brand new beginning here with this person it's just going to leave you bitter and disappointed and jaded and you're just the end goal is the same you're packing up and moving on to to the future yeah to advance it's so sad. I, I really feel like Capricorn... Why why does Capricorn always get us so rough? Like, I have Capricorn three places in my chart. And I feel like sometimes I pick up on y'all's... The stuff that y'all go through. Like, I sometimes I really resonate with the reads that you guys have. You guys get it really rough uh, this lifetime around. I, I feel like Capricorn, Pisces, Leo, Scorpio, kind of... Sash, like I feel like they have gotten it, like those signs have gotten it so rough. Page of Swords, this individual is still stalking on y'all, they're hoping nobody makes a love offer to you, yeah. But oh, they know that this fire sign is going to come in. They got to read, they saw your future, they know you're about to be approached by this fire sign. You're about to be in a, a new partnership. Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Spirit saying, yes, you're about to be in a new partnership here. With this King of Wands. When do you see this happening? Two of Pentacles crossing within these next two months. But will you guys actually take it? Because it shows the Eight of Swords. It means that you would close out a cycle with this King of Cups. Why won't this King of Cups just leave Capricorn alone, Spirit? Why won't this King of Cups just leave Capricorn alone? The Hermit. And the Tower. <laughs> I don't know if I want to scream or laugh or cry. I'm being serious. Like I asked, why won't this individual leave you alone, Capricorn? It's because they know you guys are divine counterpart. They have always known from the beginning that you two are supposed to be together. Always. You know, even if you thought your person was not awakened, love... No, they knew. They knew that you were their person from the moment they set eyes on you. They have always known that you are their person. And you know, they can love you till the day they die. But if they don't respect you enough to honor the divine feminine or divine masculine that you are, then what, what are we going to do about that? What, what are we going to do about that? Where are we going to go with that? If they can't honor or respect or acknowledge this sacred connection, this chosen journey, what, what are we going to do about that? You know, we got to be honest with ourselves here. We can't spend years and years and years waiting for somebody if they already know the truth. <clears throat> this individual already knows the truth about you. They know that you are their spirit husband, spirit wife. So what, what this is, they don't want to leave you alone because they don't want to wash you from afar, fall in love and build with somebody else. They already know your future. They've been shown in the dreams. They, they've gotten help from a mystic, a psychic, a seer. So they already know that this fire sign is coming in. Yeah, they, they already know the future, Eight of Cups. They already know that your back is going to be completely turned. Like, why? Two of Pentacles on the side. Capricorn, this individual wanted to have their cake and eat it too. They wanted this third party karmic, and then they wanted you on the side. Come on now, who's going to be a side lover for somebody in 2023? Let's be honest. Everybody is healing nowadays. Who's going to put up with this? This individual wanted you to... They wanted to mold you, 
that that's what this is giving me. They wanted to mold you into somebody that would be okay with like open relationship, po polyamory, or polyamorous, a hedonistic lifestyle with open relationships. It's like they wanted to, you know, and they're, I'm not the judge, but the way this individual was going about it is like just giving you just enough to, to keep you strong, strong along for months or years. Like mo some of you lost months or years of your life uh, dealing with this individual. Like months, years, you can't, you'll, you'll never get that back because this individual, they're not going to change y'all. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be telling people false stories or, or illusions here. You know, some of these readers, they're perfectly okay with that. And they have that, that conscious, like, they're okay with, you know, keeping you guys on the edge of your seat, right? Waiting. But me personally, I don't have a computer right in my brain that is telling me to give these false messages to the collective to the masses so that they stay put and waiting on a toxic karmic person you know i'm going to speak this truth whether people like it or not i'm, I'm going to say what i'm getting and this is a toxic person this is somebody that wants to have complete control over your life love okay please believe me this is not somebody that you want to be with this is this person, okay, he, she, they, them, this man, this woman, they have a serious problem that, that they need to address. They need to work on their own ish, okay? Rejection really is God's protection. If somebody is not being allowed to come into your life, into your energy, then consider it a blessing, please, y'all. Okay, some of you already know, and this is just like the confirmation, you already know what time it is, but other people, it's like they're still holding on hope, and I get it, I understand, but it, it really is time to address these karmic cycles and patterns for what they truly are. <clears throat> that, was, that was like a mouthful right there. Some of you may need to go to a church, okay, and to have a cleanse done on you, okay? You might have to have like a pastor pray over you. Knight of Wands. Yeah, the, this individual just wants you for a good time, not for a long time. So you're going to move into the future. This is a real loss because you saw the potential this had. Okay, the, this is a very much a real loss. Spirit is very displeased with this individual and this individual is going to have a lot to answer for uh, when they leave this realm. But um, you are going to move into the future, love, and you will have a beautiful brand new beginning here with a fire sign. Okay, you're going to have a beautiful new beginning. <clears throat> and, you know, it will be a beautiful journey. Secret crush. Yeah, the, the, this person is okay with keeping it a secret. This energy that that you know, like they could even have a family or been married to somebody else, but they are keeping their romantic feelings a secret. You see, they know. They know that y'all are supposed to be together this lifetime. Look at this. But they want you to wait and wait forever. So that, you know, maybe someday they can come in. They don't want to end up with regret in their life. Anxiety is there and faded meeting with travel. And hook up. I'm telling you, you're going to have a brand new situation begin with a fire sign. And this past energy, they know. They know. Trust me, they know. They, they got to read on y'all. They, they know what comes next in your love life. I'm telling you. <clears throat> this is what's going to come next. Home, hookup. Travel and faded meeting. And you know what? This inner energy, this is what they're going to be. Regret and anxiety. They may even try to come in and message you with communication and bring truth and clarity. But it really is like... They're still with the third party. So it's just them trying to stop you. Then as soon as you 
push away the fire sign and entertain this individual, they're going to ghost you. And then you miss out on the fire sign soulmate. This is a karmic. This is what they want to do. This is somebody that's possessed. They have a bunch of evil spirits. The entity has already taken over this person. That's the thing. This person's soul has been retrieved into the higher realms to preserve the last bit of its integrity. Because I'm telling you, these demons, they have a feast on people's souls. And the soul is what gives the life. Okay, so if the soul is no longer there, then somebody can literally fade out of existence once they leave this physical plane. As an emergency tactic, souls can be stored away. Shards of the soul can be stored away in the higher realms until the spirit is mature enough in a lifetime to go through the awakening process and then the soul shards can be put back together and the soul can be made whole again and you know we can get the picture moving but this individual the entity has already taken over okay the entity has already taken over the host body of this individual this individual they're soulless okay they don't they don't have a soul they're just their their command is coming from the entity that's possessing them y'all and uh, I'm telling you, as soon as this new person comes in, for a lot of you, this energy from your past is going to come in, flirt, tell you that they love you, that they know, you know, love bomb, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all so that you miss out on your new soulmate. And then as soon as your new soulmate gives up on you because you're over here dealing with this cuckoo person, this cuckoo person is going to block and ghost you. This is a karmic. This is somebody that's possessed by a demonic entity, and this this is the plan. Okay, this is what the entity wants to do. So that you end up in regret and in anxiety. So this is a warning from you guys. Don't 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 look back at the past, okay? Because there's there's nothing there. Like the person you met, that person is long gone, okay? They they long sold their soul to the devil. You know, that's why that devil energy is going to be there. They long sold their soul to the devil. They happily sold it away, okay? You you don't need to sign a contract in blood to sell your soul off to the devil himself. Many people unwittingly and unbeknownstly sell their soul day in, day out. This person, they were more than happy to do it, though. So that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care.